U.S. Cybercom officials, including Chief of Staff Rear Admiral Ross Myers, cutting the ribbon on Cybercom's new Welcome Integration and Transition Center. Located in Building 4550 on McLaughlin Parade Field, the center is the focal point for newly arriving members of the DOD's newest combatant command to Fort Meade. Hello and welcome to Meade Week. I'm Brian Spann. Also this week, we continue our conversation with the new garrison commander. Register your child with Child ID, and Women's Equality Day is coming up. These stories and more, but first a traffic reminder. Starting Monday, August 20th, Zimborski Avenue between Simon Street and Mapes Road will close from 7 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. daily for about 10 days. Work will involve removing the old sidewalk and installing a curb and a new elevated sidewalk. Additionally, people who park at buildings 8601 and 854 are being asked to park elsewhere, as both of those buildings are abandoned. In other news, in our last show, we got a chance to talk with new Garrison Commander Colonel Eric Sprague and the challenges that lie ahead. This week, the Colonel talks about his priorities as Garrison Commander. With any military installation, um, whether it be within the continental United States or overseas or in a contingency area, you know, first and foremost is safety and security of the people on post. So and that kind of aligns up with the uh, Installation Management Command um, priorities. So safety and security, and then ensuring that the tenant units here on post maintain that readiness edge. So how do, how do I um, operate within that, or what do I do to ensure that readiness? And I think one of the things is continued open dialogue with the tenant units to understand what their needs are. Um, and then just continuing to work the infrastructure projects around here to allow them to do their jobs. In other news, the Fort Meade Directorate of Emergency Services is hosting a series of nationally aligned child ID events to help parents and police keep children safe. The schedule looks like this. Tuesday, August 21st from 4 to 7 p.m. Saturday, September 15th from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. And Saturday, October 13th from 10 to 2. All the child ID events take place at the Fort Meade Fire Department on Mapes Road. The child ID system used by emergency services helps in the reporting time if a child is missing or abducted. The system is targeted for children ages 5 to 12. It records video with voice, fingerprints, DNA, and images. Every parent receives a disc with all of their children's pertinent information. Another reminder, this time from Fort Meade's Equal Employment Opportunity Office, the U.S. Army Field Band is hosting this year's Women's Equality Day observance on Wednesday, August 22nd from 11.30 to 1 at Club Meade. This year's guest speaker is Miss Addie Zanone, an Army veteran, broadcast journalist, and founder of Pro vs. G.I. Joe, a nonprofit dedicated to boosting the morale of deployed troops. Pro vs. Joe is the marquee program of Joint Forces Initiative. In 2007, the co-founder, Addie Zanone, was deployed to Iraq two months after she married. In an effort to stay connected and support the troops, Greg, Addie's husband, leveraged the power of online gaming by getting professional athletes to play deployed U.S. military in video game contests. And we're playing video games with the troops and they're loving it. You know, the big thing about Pro vs. Joe is, you know, it's not an autograph session or uh, just a picture taken. I mean, these guys are sitting down playing a video game. And the great thing about video games are, once you sit down, you strip the jersey away, you strip your rank away, and you just have it. It's just like having fun in your, with your buddy in your basement. Oh, 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 I've seen that one before. Again, Women's Equality Day is Wednesday at Club Mead. Meanwhile, if you're catching the show before Saturday, August 18th, don't forget about the 25th birthday celebration at the National Cryptologic Museum. If you haven't been, you should go. Here's a quick look at the museum's crown jewel. The Mona Lisa in our museum is the Enigma. Many people have heard the Enigma. It's one of the most popular encryption machines ever invented. Germany starts to really militarize, and they needed good tactical encryption machines for their, for their military. And so this is how they communicated or encrypted and decrypted messages, and this was a 3 times 10 to the 114th power. And that's Mead Week for this week. I'm Brian Spann. For everyone at Mead TV and the Fort Mead Public Affairs Office, have a great weekend and a great Mead Week.